Hello, sorry, I was very tired and everything. I completely forgot about this today. I was busy with a lot of stuff. I was actually about to go to bed and see, like, oh, yeah, they posted. I forgot it's Tuesday. So let's watch block pushing and see how Momo does. Hopefully, they get a battle. Nearing the quarter the mark in the 2023 Marvel League. And in the first three events, the host Bumblebees have been pretty decent overall, but the fans are yearning for more. Ma. The Queen's wiggling her wings nervously in the stands, wondering, will they see a medal? Will that medal perhaps be as golden as honey? We'll have to see the Bumblebee. Oh, the bee puns. Team almost in 13th place. Hopefully we can get up to top. In this one. Currently sit 11th in the standings out of 16 teams. Crazy Cat's Eyes lead the way just barely over the Savage Speeders. Raspberry Racers jump nine spots to third after a victory by Ruzzy in the five meter hurdles. This event, however, completely different. It is a full team event and you are going head to head with three other teams. The goal? collectively push those red blocks as far as you can down this track. You have to keep them in your track, however, like we've seen force, in force previous iterations of this event. You don't want to get too out of control and risk a disqualification if one of your marbles or one of the blocks ends up elsewhere. The I'm score you see are the collective man. distances, and hey, shout out to our Love Seat members. Thank you for supporting Yella's Marble Run. They're sitting just Love down seat. in front of me. Hey, everybody, I'm Greg Woods. The Bumblebees fans getting the wave going around the stadium. The beautiful cauldron is lit up top, and we are ready for Heat 1, Push 1. So Rangers, the Bumblebees Momo, as hosts are up there in lane 1, and they are going to get the opening. Well, Momo has a good wait a minute. Is that a record? Oh my gosh, let's wait for the standings. It is! It's a Marble League record. 101-15. The Bumblebees on the first push. Oh goodness. The fans are Ooh, thrilled with that. What do they do here? Well, plasma. Not quite as good, but still decent. And by the way, you can see at the back there, Team Plasma still trying to figure out the best strategy. Coach Ion has said this team has a lot of work the to do. They are newcomers, Ion. and okay. it has been showing so <laughs> far in these games. Third iteration. And thus far, it's been Bumblebees leading every single one. And Momo right the, behind them. Enough the for his second place. Record marker down there. Appropriately held in place by a small little bee. Hey, if they can hold on to wonderful second, result, that'd be over 100. Right. And what do they do time. here in the final run? Of course, each team has a chance at every one of the lanes. Momo in this second format. place every time. And they once again <laughs> come out on top. Well, the winners of this heat, Definitely not Momo. in doubt at all. Bumblebees. You take the best two pushes. 201? Dang. They both get, oh, gosh, 100 both times. And 91, so 185. Okay, so so far and second. And add those together. That's good. So two over 100. So 185.30 is what I'm looking at. 185, the next best. We'll see if that 200 mark collectively is gonna be difficult to beat, but the Bumblebees. Probably are thrilled with that shining swarm so we're at least guaranteed good enough points maybe even second because raspberry racers be crazy cat's eyes and mellow yellow coming down now and look at shining swarm up top they get close to that 100 mark and close to that new record but come they tied just short it. of the ladder 100.15 they tied it Change lanes and come back down now. Crazy Cat's Eyes, our winners back in Honeycomb Team Pursuit and a bronze medal in the steeplechase. And once again, Shining Swarm edges ahead. That's pretty horrible though. As far as runs, that's one of the way, worst runs. Their gold medal last event in the five meter hurdles. Plasma, you know, I, I say that they have not done terribly well overall. I mean, they did win the steeplechase. So <laughs> Apologies for that. And uh, oh boy. This push was very uncharacteristic. How so? What is going on with Crazy Cat's Eyes here? Hey. Uh, Phoenix beside me. Hang on. Go back. I'm in the way here. Move out of the way. Yeah. Crazy Cat's Eyes doing horrible with this thing. They're in the lead, so uh, Phoenix they, beside like me says, White one Eye round, is suck. very unhappy from the coaching stand. 
frustrated at what this team is able to do. And, and look at this once again, Crazy Cat Size, the championship leaders are I don't way know back. If they pass. Yellow Yellow finally does get by Shining Swarm. Let's take a look. <sighs> so, collectively, with eight more runs to go, we can get down to 13th place. Technically. Because all these other things beating us down. Technically, we can get down to 12th place, I suppose. Well, hopefully it's a good batch of points for us in this one. Really? Crazy guys, is there worse than Plasma? Ooh, that's pretty bad. All right, well, teams let's see what dominate happens. today. Championship leaders are ahead, falling so. down the order. And they are dead last right now. Well, if they're dead last, that means everyone else can gain points on them. So, please be ahead, Mama. Get a fourth place. Team right. Galactic, Snowballs, Thunderbolts, and Rojo Rollers. Nice one, Team Galactic. They get past 90 up top. Everybody else shy of 85. That's a new thing for Snowballs. Change lanes and down we Excuse come once again. Thing, this is still snowballs you know, part of the still, difficulty of that. an event like this is when you have these four heats and you know that two of them are going to have to count. How do you spread out your energy over the course of these? Do you just go for broke on one? I spread it out through kinetic physics. Them and kinetic hope that you have more in the tank. <laughs> do you try to average them out? I think as we get farther along in this event, you will see more teams opting for desperation as they try to no, beat these that well. 200 plus total that they get was put up in all. the very first runs. Thunderbolts get a bit of separation with their first marble there. You don't really want to see that in block that pushing. As we always do, we talk about the strategy yeah. that is involved in getting a solid, consistent effort directed forward. And a lot of times you will see that fourth marble straggle and end up being like the hammer to hit them. Okay, good. So, still in fourth place. We can get down to eighth place, which will give us eight points. So that's good. But can we hang on to fourth? That'd be nice. Drive them forward. Bumblebees still on top. Shiny Swarm are next up. Mellow Yellow take back a, there. Take a guess. 187. Then it gets fairly close. 187 down through 178, 174. Really close on so who ends up in those so upper far, positions. Well, still a lot nice. of points to be gained, even if you yeah. don't get medals. New Heat. And a Ooh. nice battle there between Savage Speeders and Midnight Wisps on the bottom two lanes. Of course, Savage Speeders are going to do well. What else do you expect from them? Savage Speeders do get the win head to head, but they're going to need a Marble League record push to claim the top spot at this point. Oh, the Wisps give it a go. They beat Momo. Just out of those two already. So, Momo with these two going to say is down to they get near 100 place that's 10 points and they're threatening to spoil the bee party what kind of party do bees have i wonder honey party a honey hive once more Ray. can the wisp put it together no not this time they are last in fact nice run down in lane three by the pinkies are defending Marble League champions 97-6-0. I'm so surprised Pinkies won. <laughs> Honestly. It was like, out of all the teams to win, Pinkies? But nice total to carry perfect. forward, and they have one more chance to better it. Speeders are quick out of the gate. They stay together. What can that hammer marble do? Oh, it gets them briefly past the Wisps, but their hammer moves it forward. Is that a new record? We're going to have to wait for the official measuring. Can't really tell from this angle. And it is! 101-3-0. The bees are what anxious way. right now as the totals are being added up. Bumblebees had great consistency across. I think Pinkies did enough. They got three, so we got knocked down to ninth place. Supposed to tenth, we got ninth. Their Nine two points. runs 
This is a record, but was that second run good enough? That's my guess. But it's this close, they, they take a little extra time. No, the bubble. Yep, by ninth point, I mean seven, nine points. So, seventh place. Hey, that's better than where we've been. So nine points, that put us at 35 points. Let's see where that puts us. Bumblebees hangs on. Okay, now I'm focused on the lead. Bumblebees hang on because they had 101.15, 101.15. Despite that, their second best of Midnight West. So 25 for Bumblebees, 20 for Midnight West, three for Savage Speeders. Pinky's got 11, so. These are okay. still oh. ahead. Team Malo. Bumblebees have won the gold. It comes down to the final run of the entire day. Nah. And my goodness, after all of this, just a couple of centimeters is the difference, not even that. Millimeters? Between millimeters, gold right? and silver, and victory is sweet. For gold the and honey. Congrats, Bumblebee. Bumblebees. Technically, a couple of those are Hornet players. The host. Are yeah, a couple of those are Hornet players, because some of the, the Hornets disbanded during the uh, offseason, and they joined with the Bumblebees. So those two, like, marbles you see right there, these dudes right here, those are Hornets. But that'd be an interesting play of, like, if the Bumblebees fall apart this season. One way they could he could do a storyline is if the uh, Bumblebees don't win the Marble League. Then you can see the Hornets being like, well, you suck. They like them blaming each other, the reason why they didn't win. And the Hornets reform and become their own team. I'm going to call it that may be what happened if Bumblebees don't win the season. But if they do do well or they win it, they may stay together a little bit longer. But if they do terrible again after this point, they may break apart and become their own team again. That's just my idea. Because Hornets, you know, don't get along with anybody. As long as they're doing well, they'll get along. But if not, they'll break apart again. That's my guess. But anyway. Champions in block pushing. This stadium is going berserk right now. The Bumblebees Jesus. were not expecting this, nor were Crazy Cat's Eyes expecting a zero. Savage Speeders, they move up to. In the Marvel world, two, two, three things are, I guess, certain. Uh, Death, Taxes, and the Savage Speeders. <laughs> savage Speeders are once again up top. I mean, last episode you saw what the standing thing kind of was. 14th place. Wait, 25. Oh, we had 16 points. That's right. I forgot. I thought we had 26. Oh, gosh. I'm already way ahead. Okay, so Momo's behind... But not by much. It's only four events. Again, by eight events, if we don't get at least one medal or a couple medals, at least get up high in the standings, it could be gone away. Thunderbolts. I almost want to write the Thunderbolts off, but it's still too early. But Bumblebee's up into fourth place. He said they won Steeplechase. They didn't win Steeplechase. That's their first medal. They're, they didn't win anything. So, Momo, we got to get our button gear which is weird we didn't do terrible that episode we didn't do terrible this event yet we're still in 14th place despite getting seventh we're in 14th place it's just even mellow yellow though we're ahead of us and they're just in 13th place because shining swarm with a fourth place finish knocked them up to 12th man Gotta do something here. Top spot, three medals out of four events for the new championship leaders. Unbelievable as well. Look at fourth spot, Bumblebees jump up seven. And a quick patron shout out before we go. Maddie, you're beautiful, amazing, and we love you. You're awesome. Go Bolts from Greg. And that's a different Greg. Uh, go Bolts? Well, <laughs> I mean, it's only the fourth thing though but so far and that's a different break by the way I was gonna say who's in the fidget spinner Roto I can see you in event 5 there are some happy teams and some that are walking away from this one bruised and a bit shocked I wonder what 5 meter sprint 
Oh boy. So we're already at the hurdles. Now we have the sprint. So that'll be on Thursday, right? That's on Thursday, right? Ooh, okay, things updated. So we have block pushing, that just happened. If I have a sprint on my birthday, yay. Tug of war. Uh, and the E7 funnels. Good. Are we going to get anything on Halloween? Because the 28th is Saturday. Halloween is Wednesday? No, Halloween is Tuesday. So there's no episode Tuesday, comparably. So that's six days in between. So we get a Halloween race on Tuesday? I hope we get a Halloween race on Tuesday. I'll, I'll look at that. See if Will O Wisp and. That's the one I remember, Will O Wisp. <laughs> but hopefully they come in. Ooh, funnels. Out of these, which one can Mambo do well in? Sprint, tug of war. I don't know about tug of war. Sprint. Just give it the Savage Spears. We already know. Uh, funnels. Maybe funnels. Might be able to do funnels. I'm going to say Momo will at least get one medal out of the next three events. Hopefully. Don't quote me on that. Okay, anyway. See you in the next one. Goodbye.